In this video, we are going to take a look at how to submit assignments through Google Classroom using the camera. If you are using a smartphone or a tablet, you can download the Google Classroom app. To submit an assignment using your camera, go ahead and open up the Google Classroom app. If you haven't already done this, you will need to sign in with your Google account. Once you've done that, all of your classrooms will appear. I'm going to go ahead and click on one of my classes and I will see any assignments or announcements. I can also go down to the bottom and click on the classwork tab and look at my assignments this way. I'm gonna go ahead and click on assignment number one. And down at the bottom, I'm gonna click where it says your work. This will give me the option to add an attachment. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And I have lots of choices as to how I can pull that attachment in. So any of these options are good options, but the one I wanna show you right now is to use the camera. So I'm gonna click on use camera. And now my camera has opened up and I can take a picture of some artwork. So I'll snap the picture. Once I do that, I'll click on use photo. And it is attaching my file. If this is the first time you are doing this, it may ask you to allow access to your camera. So just click allow if that comes up. You can see that the file has now attached. At this point, you can turn it in, but if you did want to add an additional attachment, you can click back on the add attachment link and choose another file. I also wanted to point out that if you've already taken a picture with your camera, you can go ahead and click pick photo and that will allow you to browse your camera roll so you can select a photo to attach. Once you have your attachments added, you can just go ahead and click turn in. It will prompt you to click turn in a second time, so just go ahead and click on that. And that's it, your assignment has now been submitted to your teacher. Now I'm going to show you how you can submit an image or upload a picture to your Google Classroom from a Chromebook. So I'm logged into my Chromebook and I'm going to go ahead and click on one of my classes. So I'm currently a student in this class and if I would like to submit an assignment, I'm going to go over to the Classwork tab and click on the assignment. At the bottom I'll click View Assignment. To attach a file, you'll use the Add or Create button up at the top right. You do not get a camera option directly in here, so we are going to have to take the picture with the Chromebook camera and then come back here to add it. All of your Chromebooks have a camera app. Some of you may have added it to your toolbar along the bottom. If it isn't there, just click on your launcher icon on the bottom left Click the up arrow to see all of your apps. Scroll through your different apps until you locate the camera. Once you've located it, click on the camera. This part's a little tricky because you'll want to line up your picture as best as you can. And you'll want to make sure the lighting is okay as well. And you'll probably want to get out of the picture. Once I have my picture lined up, I'm going to go ahead and click on the take photo button. I've now taken the picture and it's been saved on my Chromebook. I can click on the icon down at the bottom to view it. This picture has been saved automatically on my Chromebook and is most likely in your downloads folder. I also want to take notice of the file name so when I attach it to my classroom, I can recognize it. So now I'm going to switch back to my Google Classroom and I'm back in my assignment. To attach the photo I just took, I'm going to click on Add or Create and I'm going to click on File. This asks me to select files from your device, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. And now I'm going to browse for the picture I just took. Many times the pictures will go right into your Downloads folder. So I see the picture that I want, 
and I am going to click open. Before I do that, I also just want to point out that if you don't find it in your downloads folder, it is possible that the file could be saved directly into your Google Drive. So since I found my file, I'm now going to click open and then I'm going to click upload at the bottom. You'll see my image is now uploading. Once it's complete, you can just go ahead and turn it in. So that's how you attach a photo to your Google Classroom assignment using your Chromebook camera. In this segment, let's take a look at how to take a picture with your phone and upload those files directly into the Google Drive app, which can then be attached to Google Classroom if needed. The first step would be to download the Google Drive app on your phone. This is a free app. Once you download it, you will need to log in with your Google account. Now I'm going to click on Drive. By default, it'll open up with this priority view, but my preference is to go over to the bottom right and click on the folder or files view. I can upload files directly into Drive or I can make a folder and put them in a folder. So I'm gonna walk you through the folder process. So I'll click on the plus sign. And from here, when I see all of my different options, I'm gonna start off by choosing folder. So I've given my folder a name and now I'm gonna go ahead and click create and it's given me a folder. If I'd like to upload files directly into that folder, I'm going to click on that folder to open it up. It's currently empty, and now I'll be able to upload or take a photo directly into that folder. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the plus sign, and this time I'm going to choose Use Camera. This will activate the camera, and now I can press the white button to take the picture. If I like the photo, I can go ahead and choose Use Photo. But I notice this photo has a little bit of a glare and some shadows, so I'm going to click Retake. And I can try angling my photo or my picture a little differently, and I'll try the picture again. Once you're happy with the picture, then you can go ahead and choose Use Photo. This file is now uploaded into your drive. The other way that you can get pictures into your drive is by clicking on the plus sign and instead of using the camera, maybe you've already taken some pictures. In that case, you can go to upload and it will allow you to go down to photos and videos, which is the folder on your phone that stores all of your pictures. From there, I can click on any folder, so I'm going to click on recent and I can choose one or more pictures to upload. So I'll select a couple pictures of my dog. If you have videos stored on your phone as well, you can select those and those will get uploaded right into Drive. Once you've chosen all the files you wish to upload, just go ahead and click on the Upload button. Those files will now be uploaded into your Google Drive. The originals are still on your phone for safekeeping. My files have finished and now I can see that they're all there in the photos of my work folder. If I'd like to attach some of these pictures or images to my Google Classroom, I can now use the Google Drive option and I'll show you that next. Now that you've uploaded your work with your phone or your tablet using the Google Drive app, you can go into your Google Classroom on any device, any type of computer, Chromebook, or even a Mac, and you can attach your file. So I'm going to click on the Classwork page. Let's jump to Assignment 2. I'll click on View Assignment. And up at the top right where it says Add or Create, I'm going to go ahead and click. And now I'm going to choose Google Drive. The pictures that I uploaded are now here. If you don't see them right away, you can also click on the My Drive tab, and because we put them in a folder, we can double click on the folder, and you can find them that way as well. So you would select the picture of your work and click Add. 
Once that's uploaded, it's ready to be turned in. If you do need to add additional files, just repeat those steps. And when you're finished, click Turn In and then turn in again to confirm. And you're all set. So those were three different ways to use your camera to take a picture and upload your work to Google Classroom. Hopefully one of them will work well for you. Thanks for watching and hope this was helpful.